chat, Brad. I'm being threatened with um, to be arrested if I don't allow the officer to draw the blood. And Alvin is like the ambulance is hard, and I'm on the phone with his supervisor who's threatening me to threaten to arrest me. She handed the phone back to me. Please. So I'm going to arrest her. Start sending them. Start sending them. Thank you. Bye. Okay. They're trying to draw. My name is Alex. The, the officer, officer is right here, and I'm trying to turn this from the We don't know where the is. Right we have exigent circumstances for a blood draw on a patient that's upstairs. Officer she is refusing, and my Jay lieutenant Jay. says that what, if she which doesn't. Department are you with? Salt Lake City Police. Salt Lake City Police. Which I'm sure you'll get to meet my lieutenant soon. Okay. And okay. if I don't get to go get the blood, I'm taking her to jail. Okay. Don't I'd rather not do that. I I'd rather not do anything.
Yeah. Hello. Hello. If things still keep going the way they're going, I'm arresting her for interfering with a criminal investigation. Um, I've been told by risk management, the house privacy officer, the house supervisor, and my manager all agree. Um, here, so here, here's the thing. That he's he's right. If he's conducting an investigation, warrant. it's obstructing justice. Uh, okay, I'm just being told what to do by my entire <laughs> hospital. And I'm being told what to do by, by my boss. Okay, so and I'm going to do what my boss says. Okay, well, and I can stand here and say I want to do the same thing. There's no urgency in this. I'd rather just let it work out. I'd rather just kind of figure Here's out. Here's the fatal, and he's the other driver. He's in, I guess, critical condition in the burn unit, and so the implied consent law says that we can draw blood, and she's preventing it. I'm preventing because that's what I'm told to do by the risk management for the hospital, the hospital officer, privacy, HIPAA officer, the house yeah, supervisor, and, I told, and I, my I boss. House with you. That's my job, and anybody who interferes with the arrest, and we don't want to do that either. Flew the one guy here. Where at? It's up in Logan. No, I am. And there's also the laws that talk about exigent circumstances and implied consent law, which does apply. Okay, I can have you talk to our private officer. Okay, well. But until he says yes, he can't. Okay, she's going to jail. Why? Why? Interfering with the criminal investigation. Okay. Per my watch commander, and I'm not going to argue with him. Okay, this is coming from our leadership. Okay, well. and it's coming from mine. So, so we've got two leaderships that can butt heads together later. But I either go away with blood and vials or body and toe. And that's my only choices. I'm, I'm going to follow my boss's instructions. That can is my Brad? instructions. Can I talk to Brad? Absolutely. I, don't, okay. so I, have, I, okay. I would, I would, just, guy, also, I would like someone to stay with me. I do Maybe not feel okay okay with Alex. I'm totally fine as long as Alex is okay. okay. We're good. We're good. This is not the way I wanted this to no, be tonight. No, it's not the way anybody wants anything to do. No. We're just, we're just all trying to follow our own letters of law. Like mm -hmm. you said, we've got bosses and stuff that are buttonheads. Yep. We're just, yeah, we're just trying to do the best what's for everybody, right? Mm-hmm.
Hi, this is Hotel 63 up at the University yeah. of Utah. Yeah, I guess I guess you've got cars coming my way. Okay, tell them I'm in the ER. Any idea of an ETA? Okay. Let them know we're in the ER. We, w we were upstairs. We're not now. Okay? Thank you. Right. Hello. This young lady right here right now is not free to go about her business. Her watch command, if she does not allow me to go get a blood draw from a guy up in the burn unit, she's going to jail. Okay. Her watch command. They don't want to abide by the implied consent law or exigent circumstances. They want it to be a search warrant. And it's on a fatal crash. The guy's unconscious. So where's the lieutenant? He's coming in. I've talked to him on the phone. She's talked to him on the phone. He was the first one to tell her that if I don't get the blood, she's getting arrested. And then he can talk to her face to face when he does the arrest check. I'm just stating what is will happen. We can both say that, sir. I'm just I'm just a nurse trying to protect the patients and do what my hospital has obligated me to do. Believe it or not, I'm trying to protect him too. I'm not trying to get him on tri criminal were. charges. I didn't say you were. I, I'm just trying to do what innocently what I'm what I've been told to do. Okay. And so I'm am I. Not, They don't have PC. I talked to Logan. It's their case. We've already discussed that with them. And watch command talk to her and says, no, this is the deal. And she says, nope, this is the deal. He told her if I don't, if, if she interferes in any way in me getting the blood draw, she is to be arrested. So it can't be the first time this has ever happened. So why is it weird now? You know? I've had run into something similar, but it, uh, they en ended up consenting. I've never gone this far. So where's her boss? Oh, uh, she's been talking to him on the phone. Were you the only one come up, or are there more? As far as I know, I'm the only one. I'm recording.
So am I. By the way, can I get a, a consent to release form for somebody to send in to get medical records? Uh, have that. Who would I? Get to call medical records. Okay. You should get a phone number to call. I can get your phone number. Yeah. If you could, I'd appreciate it. Because it would make at least one part of my night better. Uh, that's where we're going. And right now, that's where it's going. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. They might not be over right now, but... No, I don't expect them to be. Uh, I'll call them tomorrow. So I take it without those in place, I am not going to get blood. Is that? Am, am I fair to surmise that? She's the one that has told me no. Yeah, but sir, you're making a huge mistake right now. Okay. Like, you're making a huge mistake because you're threatening a person. Okay. Oh, no, we're done. No, we're, no. we're done. You're under arrest. You go, hey, we're done. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay. She can sit in my car while we're coming. This is unnecessary, man. You're right. This is my department. And this is completely unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. unnecessary. She's under arrest. That's fine, but it doesn't have For to be like For doing her job. Okay. I'm doing what I, my Why job. So she angry. does hers. That's fine. Okay. I'm leaving now. With her. Okay. Anybody who wants to prevent that, that's your option. He will be taking them. Okay. So, take your hand off her, please. I have hospital administration coming to talk to you. Please, sir. Why are you so... Please, sir, you're hurting me. Then walk. No, I have no... Brad, what is going on? Detective Payne, right University of Utah, about ready to leave. Headed for watch command. You're out in front of the hospital? Oh, good. We're at the ER. I'll come around to you. you can... Yeah, I've got her in my car right now. We're at my car. No, black car. I'm looking for my car. H63. Okay. I know, I know. You Thank you. Uh, Brad, I got another phone. Yeah. Okay. Is that her phone? Yeah. Okay. You want that? You don't want it? Okay. I don't know what I want it, but I don't know what I'm saying. Well, I can put it on your lap or you'll want it. Somebody wanted that. Hi, sir. Hi. Would you like to speak to this young lady? Well, I need to talk to you first, and I'll talk to her. Hi. Hi, this is Brad, oh, this Supervisor again. Hey, they have arrested the burn for oh, well, we're not the officer right here. Can I just uh, want to be able to have you sure. help me out? So what's there? Arresting her for obstruction. She's called people. They say no, she will not take me up there. Uh, and they're, so they're refusing. Um, okay. I have chief of police here too. Can uh, I put you on speaker phone to talk to him? Uh, so he, she absolutely will not. Thank you. I have our privacy uh, officer. Hey, he's there busy. Give him a second. So, need just a second. Well, I mean, yeah, it's just. Okay, let me check with her for a moment. Yeah. Hey, can you give him a second? He will talk to you. I can promise you that. Give him a second. So. I, I get
if we're doing wrong, okay, just listen to me. Listen to me. If we're doing wrong, there are civil remedies, okay? It's called fruits of the poisonous tree. If we took this blood illegally, it all goes away, all right? So there's civil remedies if we make a mistake. What I'm telling you is that we are not making a mistake, okay? I've done this for 22 plus years. I know what the law is when it comes to search and seizure, all right? And what you have done, because your bosses are telling you to, has been to prevent this officer who was called out to do a job, to do his job. That's obstructing justice. Okay. okay? I understand you're not trying, but you're succeeding. That's the problem. Okay? And so what we want to do is tell me this. Is it practice for the hospital to drop? Did he come in unconscious? So you can't even answer my question. No, I'm happy to. I don't know. I'm just saying I know. he came on unconscious. Okay. But see, if, do you take blood from him? Yeah. As soon as they come in, right? Because he's a patient. Okay. We have to protect our patients. I understand that. Okay. If I knew that beforehand, I would have just had told Logan to come and get a warrant and access that blood that you guys have already drawn. Okay. But this is stuff that we can discuss, not when you're telling me, no, 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 I'm not going to do it. No, no. Well, you did. When I tried to explain my point, you said it doesn't matter what you say. I'm not letting you go up. No, I did not say that. I specifically said I've been told that you have to have a warrant signed by a judge. Right. And I'm telling you, you don't. under arrest. No. And, and I just wanted to clarify it with both my house supervisor here right. and the people that were telling me that information. Does this person, do you know if this person a resident of you? Is that what we're trying to get blood from? I have no idea. I don't even know who Another he is. Problem. So you're, why are you involved in this? Because you don't I'm, have anything to do with it. Because this. I'm the charge nurse in the unit that he was admitted. Okay. So and my job is to help understand where we're supposed to do it. You're not trying to understand. You're trying to tell us. That's all you're doing. You're not trying to explain something. Okay. Well, then I'm not trying to explain anything. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to tell you that I'm not trying to explain anything. Okay. Well, then I'm just trying to tell you that I'm not trying to explain anything. Okay. Well, then I'm just trying to tell you that I'm not trying to explain anything. Okay. Well, then I'm just trying to tell you that I'm not trying to explain anything. Okay. Well, then I'm just trying to tell you that I'm not trying to explain anything. Okay. Well, then I'm just trying to tell you that I'm not trying to explain anything. Okay. But your policy doesn't affect my people's standards. Oh, Did you there? Know? Yes, there are people coming. And I have Tracy's coming, Brad is coming, Colleen is coming. Sir, I have the hospital private right now. What does he know about this individual that I'm trying to get blood from? It's what we told him. Okay, so he doesn't know anything. I don't need to talk to him. Okay, but he's going to tell me what your policy is. And I understand what your policy is. I'm trying to tell you what I need to read. Okay, and your policy right now is uh, contravening what I need legally, okay? Which I may not need if you have blood that I can get Logan to come and get a warrant and test for later, okay? But this is all stuff that we should have a conversation with before I'm told no, 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 okay? There's a very bad habit up here of your policy interfering with my law, okay? I am trying to conduct a criminal investigation and step through the process. Okay? And you guys are trying to prevent liability coming to the hospital. And I appreciate that, but those sometimes don't meet and they don't match up. And so I gotta I gotta decide what we're gonna do with this young lady, because I I need to find out if this guy has a Utah driver's license. If he does Do we know his name? I can start looking at I have his William name. Gray, yeah. William Gray, about how old is he? Um, Gray, sir. So in my, it's on the log. When my if you're attached to this log. <laughs> Hey, where'd you say it was? Yeah. Yeah, I got it.
Put this back for you. Hey, 1014. I'm not seeing any cardio. I don't know if that changes anything. 